Hi and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to bake a lot of keto breads, different kinds. I don't eat that much bread anymore, but my husband likes it because it's easier for him to bring to work. So come along and see what I'm doing. The first recipe is this one. It's for a dark bread, also called a rye bread, just without the rye. So I'm going to use some cheese, butter, eggs, almond meal, sesame seeds, chia seeds, baking powder, salt, and I'm also going to put in some uh, creme fraiche. And I have a lot of eggs from my own hands. I just washed them all up yesterday because they were a little dirty. Usually I'm never washing my eggs, but I'm going to use a lot of eggs today and I didn't want the dirt on them. Some of them are pretty small because they are from my young hen that just started laying and uh, some of them don't know where to lay their eggs yet, so that's why they were so dirty. And I have this extra fridge out here where I'm storing a lot of our bulk stuff. And I'm going to use some shredded cheese. I'm just bringing in a few of these. And I'm also going to use some creme fraiche. I have this one, 38%, so it's really fatty and uh, that's good if you're on keto and you want to have some nice fat. And in this first recipe, I'm going to triple the recipe. So I will have to use 27 eggs. So it's really good to have my own chickens, so I don't have to buy all of the eggs. And this is the size difference between the hens from last year and then the new hens that um, hatched in February this year. And we are in July now, so they just started laying. So when I count 27 eggs, the smaller ones, I take three eggs and I count that as two of the regular size ones. So that is why I'm using more than 27 eggs here. Now I'm putting in the shredded cheese and the recipe calls for 330 grams for each recipe and I have 250 grams in each bag and I think I'm only going to use two bags and then I will use some of that creme fraiche uh, instead of some of the cheese and some of the butter. And that first bag was Emmentaler and this one is Gouda. So you can use whatever shredded cheese you like. I'm also going to use almond flour. And if you didn't have flour already made, you can just blend up some almonds. That's just as fine. And the creme fraiche. And then the melted butter. Every recipe calls for 75 grams, but I'm putting less than half of that in. Now I also have all of the creme fraiche. The sesame seeds, the chia seeds, some yellow flax seeds, and some dark flax seeds. And 
some pumpkin seeds and some sunflower seeds. I'm also putting in some psyllium husk salt, baking powder. I'm also putting in some of my homemade apple cider vinegar. You can bake it just as it is, but um, real Danish rye bread is pretty dark in color. So I'm putting in some of this. It's just a color to make it a little darker, but it's unnecessary, only for the color. And now it is ready to put into the oven. And this is the consistency you're looking for. And I'm going to bake it in these three tins and I will line it with baking paper. I'm starting out with 30 minutes, but I think they will need some longer time than that. A real Danish rye bread is made with sourdough, so that makes it a little tangy. And that is why I also put in some of my apple cider vinegar. This is a real rye bread made with rye and wheat and some other things. But uh, of course I don't use those things because this is key to what I'm making. And while these three are in the oven, I'm going to start with the next bread. And this is an oat fiber bread. So I'm going to use eggs, melted butter, cream, oat fiber, almond flour, psyllium uh, husk, baking powder, salt and some sunflower seeds. And I'm just using the same bowl again. And first off, I'm going to put in four eggs. This was a double yolk. Now I'm putting in some heavy whipping cream. And this one has been in the freezer, that is why it's looking like this. And I'm going to mix this with my hand mixer. Now the melted butter. Almond flour. Oat fiber. And blended up psyllium husk fiber. Baking powder. Salt. Sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds. This is the first time I'm making this kind of bread, so I'm not entirely sure how the consistency is about to be, but I might put in just a little more oat fiber. And then it has to sit for 15 minutes to so, so that the fibers can soak up some of the liquid.
And then the last thing I'm going to make are these burger buns. So some of the ingredients are the same as the bread. Eggs, melted butter, cream, almond flour, slim husk, baking powder, and you can also put in some spices if you want to. I will also put in some salt. And once again, I'm starting out with putting in the eggs. And I'm also putting cream into these ones. And the melted butter. And I'm going to mix this as well. And the almond flour. Salt. Baking powder. And the psyllium husk that I blended up into fiber. And then I'll just mix it all. And this dough is also supposed to just stay here for about 15 minutes so that the fibers can soak up the liquid. And then I will make them into burger buns, hopefully. Right now it's pretty runny still and I might put in some extra fiber. And now the rye bread is out of the oven and it looks really good. It also smells really good. And I tried to push down um, a little stick just to see if they're about done in the middle and it looks like they are. The recipe says that there will be six buns, but maybe I will only make four. So it's a lot thicker now. I didn't put any more fiber in and I can make them into buns. A little sticky, but not that much. We'll see. So I ended up with four and there's about 135 grams of dough into each of them. Now I'll put them into the oven with that other bread that's in here. And while the bread is in the oven, I'm going to make myself some food. I haven't eaten yet today and the time is 1.30 and I have these burgers. These two are beef burgers and this one is pork and there's also some feta cheese in this one and some herbs and spices and there's a little cheddar in these ones and some cowboy candy that I made myself. And I'm just going to put them into the microwave to heat them up a little. I'm also making up a quick, quick dressing with this creme fraiche. I'm putting in some onion powder and some of my homemade herb salt and some Italian herbs. Sometimes I'm also using some of my homemade dill pesto or garlic pesto that is also really delicious in a dressing. And I've also made some garlic salt 
that I could put in. And my burgers are warm now, so I'm going to put a little butter on top of them. Sometimes I also put on some cheese. And then I have one of my homegrown cucumbers from my garden greenhouse. And I will have some slices of this. And then I just need my delicious dressing. Just like that. Have a really yummy and filling meal. And it's easy to make. All of the patties I made the other day and I put a lot of them in the freezer. So this will keep me full until dinner time. It looks really good. And this is how the oat fiber bread turned out and it looks really nice. I just gave the buns a few more minutes and then they are also done. And now the burger buns are done as well. And I'm also done with my food and it was really delicious. Hvad er det? Må jeg lige se ind i den? Now it is the next day, and I have had these breads in the fridge overnight so they are cool now and that makes it a lot easier to cut them so i brought out my cutting machine so that makes it a lot easier to cut also and i can make them all the same size here i can decide which size they're going to be and i think about one centimeter a little more well, no, I don't think these are centimeters, but it says 1.5 here. And this is how the bread looks. So it has firmed up a lot. And that is how real rye bread is as well. This is how it looks on the inside. So it's pretty dark. And then you can see the sunflower seeds and the pumpkin seeds. And it's really firm, just like it's supposed to be.
So now they are ready to go into the freezer. And each of the loaves gave me two filled bags. And I also made a bag for a friend of mine. So there's some of the rye bread and some of the lighter bread. These are all of the bags that are going into the freezer and then I also put one in my fridge for eating the next couple of days. And this is how we are eating our burger buns with one of the patties that I also had for lunch. And then I made this really delicious coleslaw entirely from veggies from my garden. And I will link a shorts up above and in the end where you can see how I made that. Thank you for watching and I hope you will consider subscribing. And you can always go and follow us on Instagram at Vestas Farm Life. Bye bye.